Welcome to this video. Are you interested in why your vehicle diagnosis displays P0401? How is the error code interpreted by the vehicle? What does P0401 mean, or how to correct this fault? Today we will find answers to these questions together. Let's do this. First, let's look at the history of diagnostic fault code composition according to the OBD2 protocol, which is unified for all automakers since 2000. We divide the electric system of automobile into the four basic units. Powertrain. Body. Chasis. Network. This distribution is defined in the first character code. If the second character is expressed as zero, it is a standardized error. In the case of numbers 1, 2, 3 it is a more prestigious expression of the car-specific error. The third character specifies a subset of errors. The distribution shown is valid only for the standardized DTC code. Only the last two characters define the specific fault of the group. Let's not forget that such a division is valid only if the other character code is expressed by the number 0. Our website airbagreset.sk produces useful videos for you. You do not have to go through the OBD2 protocol anymore to know how to troubleshoot any car breakdown. You will find all the diagnostic codes that can be diagnosed in a Oldsmobile vehicles. Also many other useful things. The following demonstration will help you look into the world of software for car control units. You unbelievably can move the video a bit further. The error code is split into two bytes consisting of 16 bits. One bit is the basic unit that each computer works with. The bit has two logical states. 0, low level. 1, high level. By combining the first two bits, the basic character of the error code is expressed. The next two bits again determine the second character. The last bit styles of the first byte define the third character of the code. The second byte is composed of a combination of eight bits. The first four bits determine the fourth character of the code. And the combination of the last four bits defines the fifth character. A single byte conceals 256 possible combinations. We now know in what way the diagnostic tool translates the received information into a more comprehensible format. The number itself does not make sense to us if we cannot assign information about it to what it actually expresses. So, what does the diagnostic trouble code P0401 interpret specifically Oldsmobile car manufacturers? The basic definition is insufficient EGR flow detected. And now this is a short description of this DTC code. DTC P0101, P0102, P0103, P0107, P0108, P0112, P0113, P0116, P0117, P0118, P0121, P0122, P0123, P0125, P0201, P0202, P0203, P0204, P0205, P0206, P0300, P0336, P0403, P0404, P0405, P0502, P0503, P0506, P0507, P1106, P1107, P1111, P1112, P1114, P1115, P1121, P1122, P1374 and P1404 not set, engine runtime up to 3 minutes, engine speed of 1050 to 1300 revolutions per minute, VSS over 35 miles per hour, system voltage from 11 to 18V, Baro sensor over 74 kilopascals, ECT sensor more than 167F, IAT sensor from 32 to 212F, IAC counts stable 5 counts, AC clutch and current gear stable, gear selector not in park or neutral, diesel fuel cutoff and power enrichment, 
current not active, map sensor from 15 to 70 kPa, then during a deceleration period from over 30 miles per hour with the TP angle less than 1%, the PCM detected the map changes during testing indicated insufficient EGR flow note that during the test that the desired EGR and EGR position PID will change from 0 to a positive number plus 0. This diagnostic error occurs most often in these cases. Base engine problem e.g., a severely restricted exhaust, or any other problem that causes the engine to run poorly EGR passages or intake passages clogged or restricted EGR pipe is clogged, dirty or otherwise restricted EGR vacuum hoses damaged, loose or rooted incorrectly EGR solenoid valve is clogged carbon, damaged or has failed MAP sensor is dirty, damaged or it is, skewed. The Airbag Reset website aims to provide information in 52 languages. Thank you for your attention and stay tuned for the next video.